Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our class. You go ahead and find yourself a comfortable seat. Let the legs be crossed. You can sit up on a cushion if need be or put cushions underneath the knees to keep yourself uh, able to sit tall in your spine. Let's go ahead and close down the eyes to tune in together. Imagine the entire body softening a little bit more than it was just moments before you arrived in your practice. As if you were taking off a jacket that were too tight for your body, that wonderful feeling of relief as we release the mental grip of the mind on the physical body. We're going to start with breathing in the center of our heart. And what this means is that you center your awareness into the heart. For the sake of this purpose, the heart is in the center of the chest. And through a, a calm and relaxed feeling, you're breathing and inviting breath into the center of the heart. And each successive round of breath that you invite into this part of your body, <clears throat> let it be infused with a quality of calm energy. So if there's any conflict in your heart this morning, if there are any emotions that are holding a negative charge, pulling you down in your consciousness, now is the time to engage in the alchemical process of breathing and transmuting the energy of the heart. You might imagine that there is a stream flowing from the base of your skull down through your heart and it's pouring outward, allowing anything that no longer serves the heart to be released downstream, to be washed away. And expose yourself to this benevolent current of energy or light or consciousness, even just healthy breath coming into the body. The more deeply that you relax and you trust this process, the more that you can let go of that's holding in the body, any part of the body. You might imagine yourself behind closed eyes opening all of the windows and the doors of your inner temple, allowing fresh vital airs of positive thought and positive anticipation to cleanse the inside of your temple or your body. And we'll turn on the lights of wakefulness and light candles of devotion. And we'll dust off the altars of our dreams and aspirations for this life. Make sure your palms are flipped up to keep yourself receptive to this process. And above all, open the skylight of your temple, the point between your two eyebrows. And 
and look upward to this point, expanding the body, relaxing the body. Feeling and sensing the currents of energy or oxygen flowing through the body, restoring vitality. Let's keep with this breath and this practice of inviting a higher frequency into the body. Just in case there's some energy in the body that is really entrenched or anchored in its place, unwilling to budge, especially if you're new to the practices, let's take a double inhalation and you're going to tense your whole body. So a gradual tensing of the feet, the calves, the knees, the thighs, the glutes, the arms, belly ribs, chest, shoulders, throat, and release the whole body. Again, wake the body up, squeeze in any capacity that your body is ready for, gradual release, release, release. One more time, building from a low to a medium to a vibrating tension throughout the whole body, squeeze in the belly of each of the muscles. Double exhale from the heart as you gradually release. Let's take a deep breath and reach out to the circumference of our body. Arms extended as far as they can until they're above the head. Exhale, bathe palms facing downward on either side of the head and down in front of the body. Again, inhaling, reaching arms out and around, feeling that you're bathing the field that surrounds your body. Your hands are very much like magnets. And by moving the arms in this particular way, you're creating a magnetic field around the body. One more time, with the strength of this new magnetic field, it will convert any low vibration that may be existing in your body, which manifests as stress, disharmonic energy, distractedness or restlessness. And then we'll take these next few moments just to rest in the heart and we'll have a brief chant to open our practice. This chant is called, Door of my heart, door of my heart, open wide I keep for thee. Wilt thou come, wilt thou come, just for once come to me. Will my days fly away without seeing thee, my Lord? Night and day, night and day, I look for thee night and day. This is the divine romance between the devotee and his beloved in whatever form is near and dear to him.
few deep oxygenating cleansing breaths in the heart whole body still relaxed and at ease final breath or two is at the spiritual eye looking upward with the physical eyes a little bit higher Feeling divine light bathing the body. Open the doorways of your heart to receive that light. And when you're ready, you can gently open the eyes and we'll begin the physical aspect of our practice this morning. So welcome everyone. Let's carry this wonderful consciousness deeper into our practice. If at any time you need to free the legs, the knees get a little, maybe let's just do that together and give the legs a rub and then we'll come back into our cross-legged position. But just give everything a little bit of a rub here and feel the cells awakening to the call of the friction and the heat between palm and body part. Make sure you get into the inner thighs. I'm trying to get down a little bit further. This will wake up the low spine. Good. And then let's go ahead and maybe just settle hands down and take feet and stir around in circles. Waking into the toes and the ankles. Reverse the direction. Good. And then one more rub. Just get everything awake. We use an affirmation sometimes when we're rubbing the body, which is rejoice, my body cells, rejoice. Use these affirmations to shift the consciousness that you're practicing with. Rejoice, my body cells, rejoice. There's so much to be joyful for. When you're ready, we're going to come back into cross legged position any which way that's comfortable for you hands are going to come onto the knees this is a root chakra opening practice so you're going to take hands under the knees and start rolling the body around in a circle and the focus here is to keep the sits bones on the ground those are the two points of your hips and watch with your inner awareness the stimulation at the base of the body Start nice and low here, and we'll work our way up to something a little deeper in a moment. Good. We might close the eyes just so you can begin to sense this very lowest center in the body. Let's use the affirmation, I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. And then reverse the direction, and you start to find a nice rhythm, something that matches what you need this morning. It's just on the base of the spine for now. Good. And then we'll slowly start to come back into a more neutral position. And now we're going to exaggerate the movement by pushing the belly forward and by hooking onto the knees and rounding the back. So now you're getting into the sacral region or the second center in the body. So you get really dramatic with this spilling belly forwards and then arching or rather rounding back as you go behind. There's probably quite a bit more sensation for most of us in this movement. Keep the breath relaxed. The breath wants to flow. It's like an incoming tide. It wants to rise and recede. And then reverse the direction. You can get a little more dramatic here. Inhaling forwards. Exhaling, rounding back. And start to slowly come back into a neutral position. Take a few rounds here so that everything has a smooth and gradual transition. We're not just abruptly stopping. 
All right, let's go ahead and extend the legs, give them a little break, especially if knees were bent the whole time, and just drum the knees on the ground here. A great way to add some blood flow to the legs. And you can be as enthusiastic as you'd like with this practice. You can really get into it. Good, and then wave feet side to side. Send all that blood flow and vitality down towards the feet. And then a few stirring around in a circle, like you're mixing in a bowl with the feet. Good. And let's go ahead and take soft fists and we'll just drum down the legs on the sides, down the inside if you like, up the inside. Good. And you're waking up the body. Wake, wake, wake. All right, just a little bit of that and we'll come back to our legs together, cross-legged position. We're going to go a little further now, coming into solar plexus region. You're going to inhale and release the solar plexus forward and look up a little bit higher. And then exhale, round the back and look to the left. Take a few rounds like this. Some of us might double inhale. Double exhale to release. The idea here is to get everything nice and smooth. If the double breath is too much, you just come back to a gentle inhale and exhale. Sometimes that deep breathing can make us feel a little lightheaded. which in my mind is just the brain celebrating fresh oxygen, saying thank you. I've been in a desert of shallow breathing for far too long. Good. Next time that you inhale, come all the way up. Hold the breath in. Try to squeeze along the spine by sitting tall, 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 tall. Good, release the hands. You're just gonna press them away from the solar plexus and look down to the lap. Eek out every last little bit of breath. Good, and then you can take hands around. So we're gonna take feet firm under the earth and just let a little, little rolling side to side. Notice if your body's starting to feel a little more integrated, the energy's flowing. We we'll use the affirmation for one of our forward folding postures, left, right, all around, life's harmonies are mine. So when you're rolling, look around and notice that you're in an ocean of harmonious energy. Thus far, we may have been a jar with its lid tightly closed, submerged in that ocean. And now we open the doors of our heart we open ourselves to receive that wonderful influx of cosmic energy, vitality. Be sure to get the benefit of the, this part of the practice that is in the hips and the glutes. So when you roll, roll nice and heavy and it's like a little iron. You iron out some of the wrinkles in the backside of your hips. Good. We're gonna come right up to neutral position here, holding on the backs of the thighs, and knees and ankles are close together. Lift the heart, lift the chest. I'm gonna draw the chin towards the neck and start to recline onto your heels. We'll come into Navasana or boat pose. The affirmation within my every breath is infinite power. Release the palms whenever you're ready, if the body allows. Look deeply into the spiritual eye. Within my every breath is infinite power. Feel that wonderful consciousness. Within my every breath is infinite power. If you'd like to try coming a little higher, start with hands holding on the back side of the thighs and just rock back and lift the feet. If your back, specifically the low back, starts to round, come out of the pose. But if you can sustain, 
with the feet lifted, you might stay here for a few breaths and repeat the affirmation within my every breath is infinite power. And then lower down gradually as you're ready to, right into cross-legged position, palms face up will look right into the spiritual eye. Just three breaths of calm feeling. Stay at the spiritual eye by looking up. Good, final inhale. Let's double inhale and shrug shoulders up by the ears. Squeeze the arms if you can. Hold the breath. Double exhale from the heart, release down. Two more times. Squeeze, 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 all those shoulds right out of the body. I should have been, I should have done. Release that pressure, double exhale, let it go. I am joyful, I am free. Repeat with me, double inhalation. Squeeze, and as you release, I am joyful, I am free. Big inhalation, circling arms up above the head. Good, interlace fingers, last of our seated postures. Press, press, press. Sip in full breath. Squeeze along the spine by doing a little rocking side to side. Get taller. Reach, reach, reach. Good, when you're coming down, let go of the intensity, bend the elbows and float the arms. Gentle release of the breath. We're gonna come up out of our seat onto hands and knees. Continuing with this opening of the spine, come right into a little sequence of cat and cow. Just a few rounds here, inhaling. Notice how flexible your spine has become. No worries if there are sensations that are still working their way out. and you're waxing and waning from one joy to another. Try smiling as you practice and you'll begin to invite a current into your body, a charge into your blood. The great teacher Paramahansa Yogananda said that when we do acts of good for others, we invite a special charge a magnetic charge into the bloodstream in our bodies that promotes well-being. He said in this space, disease, bacteria, and viruses cannot exist. So through love for self and love for others, you magnetize the bloodstream. And you can feel it as vitality in the body. In the next cat pose, we're coming all the way up onto knees. And for this pose, join knees rather close together, as much as your body will allow. Good, let's take a deep breath. We'll inhale and float the arms up and around. Exhale, gentle bend of the elbows. Stand tall, close the eyes, look to the spiritual eye. Think length through the spine. Gentle pressure between palms keeps your awareness drawn upward. I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. Repeat this affirmation. I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. Look into the spiritual eye. I lift my thoughts and energy up to touch the sky. One more breath as you inhale, extend the arms as high up as they can go, and then you can turn the palms out. Very important here, be aware of the space that your palms are bathing through, and feel that you're opening a field around your body. Good. 
Let's do two more rounds. Inhaling, lifting palms right up through the spine, right up through the heart, past the spiritual eye and the crown. And then turning palms out to spread that magnetic field around your body. Over time, you'll grow to feel this field around you and when it's stronger and when it's weaker. When it's weaker, the physical body gets injured, we get sick. We're more subject to others' thoughts and negativity. But when it's strong, we emanate a field of positivity into this world. Our bodies become healthy. Good last time all the way around. So we're gonna untuck the toes when you come down and we're gonna sit back over the ankles but touch down to the ground and go ahead and use the ground to lift the hips as high as they can go in the pose. You're gazing over your navel and the more that you begin to activate in the body, the easier it will be to stay. This is a fear and worry purifying pose. Stay in the pose and I want to find the affirmation for you all because it's such an important affirmation for us. Okay, breathing steady. If you ever need to come down, feel free. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. When you're ready to release out of the pose, you go ahead and just walk your hands right forward in the child's pose, head bowing down towards the earth. We'll use this as a neutral asana or a posture in between postures. Energetic movement or unmoving peace. The choice is mine alone. The choice is mine. Specifically in child's pose, feel that your energy is coming back into your spine from the root all the way up to the crown. Final breath in the posture, inhaling up the body to the spiritual eye. Exhaling, you can begin to slowly slide hands back towards the knees. Keep the head low as you roll up onto the knees. Use the strength of your legs. If you need your arms, feel free. We're going to come from the solar plexus into the heart now. So inhale and sweep arms up and around. Exhale, palms come down to rest on the ridge of the top side of your hips. Start by squeezing elbows and shoulders behind the body and looking at least straight forwards. Try to avoid looking down towards the ground. If you can look up even a little higher, keeping chin tucked towards the throat, even up towards the spiritual eye, or some of us close the eyes. Good, let's find our steady rhythmic breath, repeating the affirmation with calm faith, I open to thy light. With calm faith, I open to thy light. Relax the body a little more. Keep reaching to the crown of the head as you stand strong through front side of solar plexus and heart. With calm faith, I open to thy light. If you can stay another two or three breaths, remain in the pose. But if you're ready to come out, feel free. Now, a couple options here. As you do lower down, you can come right back into child's pose. Or some of us are going to tuck toes underneath and we're going to push back into our first downward facing dog. Take a little pedal if you need to. That is bending one knee, extending opposite leg. We're going to stay with the affirmation just for a few more moments. And this is our resting posture. With calm faith, I open to thy light. With calm faith, I open to thy light.
Faith is nothing more, let's go ahead and lower down, than knowing that there is another horizon beyond the one in which you are currently viewing. That there is a broader horizon, a greater reality. So in this child's pose, let's go ahead and open ourselves up energetically, engaging the muscle of willingness to expand our inner horizons beyond the physical body, beyond the skin. Stay engaged in your practice, ever present and aware through calm, abiding feeling. We're learning to relate to ourselves through pure feeling rather than an inner narration of our experience, which is often how the mind reinterprets reality. When you're ready to rise out of your child's pose, you just slide the hands back towards the knees. Inhaling, we'll roll up the spine. Let's come all the way up and just take a bathing of energy as we reach the arms up into the sky. Good, exhale, take a bow as you send hips back, arms go nice and wide, and we'll settle hands underneath the shoulders. We're coming into gate pose, so start by extending your right leg, point the toes, if you so desire, drop the forehead to the earth and spend a few moments here breathing. When you're ready, you can either choose to extend your leg out wide to the side or use a bent knee and then extend at the last moment. Eventually, you all look like you're in this position here, which is gate pose. Start with hands on the hips, a commanding and affirming position. Let's go ahead and tuck the chin a little closer towards the throat so that the heart is in command in our practice. When you're ready to slide the bottom hand down, just make sure you skip the knee if you're going to go down the leg very far. Opposite arm is like you're zipping up through the side body here. Lift that hand up above the head and reach up and over to the side. And this is truly the posture to start smiling in. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Feel that wonderful wave of joy surging upward in your spine. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Look right into the spiritual eye so that any inner resistance to joy has a place to release point in the body that we release old patterns of consciousness and the yogic system is the spiritual eye. And you draw those old patterns up right into that powerful divine light and you hold them up to the light to be revealed for what they are. Most often illusion, always illusion. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. When you're ready to come back to neutral, just relieve the top arm down and stand steady. Hands into the heart, if you can remain here, or come down on the hands and knees. Go ahead and pluck the top of the head a little bit taller. Just get a bit taller here. Look to the spiritual eye for the last breath or two. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. When you're ready to come down out of the pose, bow the hips back at the same time that you drop the hands to the earth. It can be a little interesting to walk the hands over towards the foot, especially reaching through the left arm, and lay down against left side of the body as you look between the legs. And you'll feel all this wonderful extension happening along the left side of the body and through the inside of the right 
thigh and calf. When you're ready to come out of the pose, just go ahead and drop to neutral. And again, you can choose to bend the knee and settle underneath the body, or some of us will wave that foot back and around. We're going to come to other side. So inhaling, descend the left foot behind the body, and then choosing if you'd like to maybe drop the head down towards the earth. And then when you're ready, wave that foot around. Bent knee makes it easier. And send it down to the earth. Beautiful. Just gently walk your way up into gate pose. And make sure your toes are pointing in the direction of your gaze. You're resting on the outer edge of the foot. And you have hands on the hips in a commanding posture here. Let's command the energy through kindness, dropping bottom hand down onto the leg where it will be just like you had a little zipper attached to the side of the body go ahead and lift that energy you're picking up the body here and reaching up and over close the eyes if you can and watch what happens in the inner body as you breathe you relax and you aspire upward And don't wait for the ideal circumstances to be joyful or smile. You'll be waiting forever. Be joyful now in your practice. Smile, even if it doesn't feel real at first. Know that you are made of joy, that every fiber of your being is bliss and joy. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Make sure you keep reaching in an energetic way, meaning that you're not lying into the bottom hand, but you're supporting your own spine through upward aspiration. Again, any blocks to joy, offer them as a holy sacrament to the spiritual eye. With one final breath, go ahead and come up to neutral and relieve the top arm down to the side. Let's join hands into the heart. Just a few more moments here on this knee. If you need to come down, go ahead. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Sometimes when I'm repeating these affirmations, I find myself saying, oh, I, it's almost like you're, you're remembering again. Oh, I forgot about that. Waves of joy are surging upward in my spine. When you're ready to bow down, you let the hips come back and you separate the palms down towards the earth. If you like that other expression of walking over towards your extended leg and just laying into the right arm. You might even use the forearm and you look between the legs. Remember there's no stretching in yoga in the traditional way that we think about where we're pressuring a part of the body to extend beyond what it's ready to. Breathe and relax and allow your body when it is ready to open, to release, to embrace. When you are ready to come back to neutral, hands come underneath shoulders and chest. You can choose if you'd like to bend the knee or maybe use the strength of the belly to wave that foot back and around, a little pointing if you desire to, and then come down. Good. Hands a little further than you're used to and just roll the hips around in a circle. Make sure nothing's stuck in the hips. <clears throat> Reverse the direction rather quickly. And we are giving the knees a break so you can sit over the feet. <clears throat> we'll keep this as a grounding practice today. 
Go ahead and extend the legs nice and long. And we're going to first draw the left foot into the center of our body. And then reach back and pull the muscles of the glutes out from underneath the body. And you'll feel your sits bones or the anchors at the bottom of your hips into the earth. Should make it a little easier to sit. Go ahead and start by pressing off of the ground behind you and lifting the chest. Chin stays tucked. Flexing toes of the extended leg and close the eyes and breathe. This is the active phase. Now if you can, you come onto tips of the fingers and you start to lean forwards like you were able to see beyond the tips of your toes and there was something very interesting. So your heart is open, your chest is long, spine is long. Some of us come in front of the hips with the hands and we can still keep our spine long. Let's start embracing the affirmation left and right, all around. Life's harmonies are mine. Left and right, all around. Life's harmonies are mine. Wiggle the toes if anything gets too serious or dramatic in the practice. Keep that leg nice and loose but engage and at some point you bow the head and the neck and you let the back round and just almost like you're pouring yourself over a mold remember that relaxation does not mean sleep you're just as wakeful behind closed eyes with head bowing as you were entering the posture Any forward folding pose is deeply healing for the nervous system. So take some time here. Our nervous systems are so taxed in this modern world of stimulation and news and constant input. Just take the time to shut down for a few moments to refresh. you are ready to rise you're rolling up the spine nice slow gradual transition when you do come back to neutral make sure you take hands behind you and squeeze the shoulders behind the heart and lift the chest careful not to fly the chin too high keep it tucked when you feel that you've reset in the body you can go ahead and fold the left knee up towards the center and we're gonna step that foot over you go ahead and wrap your right arm around this front leg and we're going to reach the opposite arm that is left arm is up above and then around and back and we'll take a twisting pose here. The affirmation I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. Notice if any parts of your body are a little bit frozen, maybe it's the jaw, maybe it's the mind, or a, a foot, or a hip. Ideally you have a little bit of wiggle room in every pose. Right, we can still get soft and have room to sit a little taller. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. When you're ready to release back, take a nice inhalation, deep breath into the body, and then complete exhale to release. We're going to go ahead and extend that left leg out and you can draw right leg right into the center so same thing make sure you pull the 
glute muscle out of the way here. You almost might think like you're sitting right on the edge of some, uh, you know, you're teetering on the edge of your seat. And this will help to support your low back. Use the hands behind you to stay steady and look into the spiritual eye for a few moments. Indulging a little bit longer in inner silence as we've cultivated a deep rhythm and a deep awareness of that rhythm of breath and body and mind and soul. If you can go ahead and walk hands in front of the hips, this can take quite a long time to work up to, so don't be worried if you're still resting in the first position. And you're slowly releasing the heart forward, so nothing's rounding in the back yet. You might like to do a little neck stretch, just rolling chin down towards the chest and lifting up on one side or the other. The beauty of the forward fold is it's a patience game. Each one of us, if we were willing to spend five or even 10 minutes in the pose would find that we have tremendous flexibility in our legs. When you're ready to release head and neck, now or in your own time, feel free to do so. The affirmation left, right, all around, life's harmonies are mine. You're swimming in an ocean of union, of harmony. Let that soak into any barren soils of the mind or the physical body. Rehydrate your body with vital thoughts, awareness of your interconnectedness. When you're ready, you slowly begin to roll up here, letting the head be the last part of the body to rise. And then step hands behind hips and pin the shoulders behind the heart. Let's really work in the heart for a few moments here, breathing. The heart is an oasis. And through desire, seriousness, cynicism, sarcasm, the heart dries up. Now is your chance to rehydrate through love, through devotion, joy, smiling. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and fold the knee up towards the sky, foot stepping back, back down onto the earth, and then just go ahead and step over. Some of us might need to just keep our foot extended out and we hold on to our knee, and this might be the length of our twist. But if you can step over all the better, we'll send left arm reaching out and wrapping around this front knee. Your opposite arm, you might take your hand and just go ahead and draw the belly out to the side. So you're drawing out here. And this will help you twist a little, and then you might round that hand behind you. There's no need to batter down the doors of your practice by overstretching. You just sort of breathe and wait and all of a sudden you're given the invitation to a deeper aspect of your practice. Sit as tall as you can in your spine and reach through the crown of the head. We use the affirmation I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. I 
radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. do feel inspired to release the inhale takes you lengthening exhale returning to neutral go ahead and take that foot out of the way both knees are going to bend and just roll your feet off to the side we're going to come up on to our knees for a moment here and take child's pose resting forehead down towards the earth By now noticing that the rhythm of your breath, of your mind, your body is beginning to slow down and there's a greater sense of continuity or like an inner melody that's playing a perfect symphony of all your parts. And far from a time to fall asleep, this is an invaluable time where we can heal our own bodies through this sense of inner peace and calm. So send that peace to any part of the body that's in need of physical healing, any part of the mind in need of mental healing, or any part of your soul in need of a spiritual healing. Now we'll have two options for our final resting posture. You can either come up into a comfortable seat and meditate. And this is a great way to spend the final moments of your practice and allows you to most deeply feel the effects and the benefits of each of the postures. If your body feels like it needs to rest, you just lower yourself down uh, to a Shavasana or your final resting position. So if you are in Shavasana, palms face up, and you let the whole body just rest heavy on the earth. Whatever position you find yourself in, go ahead and set the inner gaze right at the spiritual eye. And let's actually cycle back, go right down to the heart and center in the heart for a few moments. Feel that wonderful calm presence expanding from the heart. And even the awakenings of a deeper devotion, a deeper caring about yourself and life. And let's refine that energy, offering it up to the spiritual eye as a divine service. Whatever your purpose is in this life, offer your full heart's devotion to live in that serviceful position. And we'll rest here for about four minutes in silence.
meditating, remain perfectly still in your posture. If you're resting in Shavasana, you might begin to find some wakefulness in the breath. Taking deep, conscious inhale and exhale. Inspiring energy from the center of your being out towards the limbs to awaken fingers and toes. <clears throat> Breathing in the vital airs of peace. Feeling your own inner magnetism strengthened by your practice, attracting to you vitality, health, joy. Let's turn the wiggling of fingers and toes into wrists and ankles and even arms up overhead. Remaining inwardly still even as you move outwardly. Go ahead and find your way from your resting position on your back, back to your seat. And then we'll join together in a final moment or two of peace. If you're still meditating, make sure that the spine is long, reaching higher towards the sky, yet relax. Palms are facing up on the lap. Inner gaze firmly and decidedly placed at the spiritual eye. And yet even there with relaxation. Let the heart be free and open. Let's take five cleansing breaths in your own timing to feel the benefits of your practice. Make sure you really enjoy the final two at least. Be there wholeheartedly with them. Let's go ahead and start rubbing palms together in front of the heart. Then we're going to take soft fists and we're going to tumble them one over the other right in front of the heart. You can open your eyes and look if you need to. This is great for breaking up mental um, blockages or boundaries in the mind. Good. And then one more time right at the spiritual eye, clearing away any blocks to our intuitive perception. Let's extend the palms out nice and wide and we'll pray for the upliftment of all souls. Let them be uplifted by this holy vibration that has been given to you, that has been revealed to you. <clears throat> Pray too that they find peace in their lives and that they find the love of the divine in their hearts. Let's finish our practice together on the mat with three ohms. Deep breath to begin. Oh.
breath in. Exhale, press the palms out in a wave of healing vibration. Hands can come back into the heart. Gentle bow of the head towards our hands in prayer. We bow to the peaceful, to the loving, and the wise nature that rests at the heart of each of our souls. That is the essence of who we are, the essence of all beings. We bow to that place in each other by saying namaste. Namaste. Thank you all very much for joining. Now is a great time to meditate. You just close your eyes and sit in silence. If you have the time to do so, take that time for yourself. If you're moving on to another part of your day, do so with joy, with uplifted energy, and keep your magnetism strong, keep your aura strong. Namaste.